Today I'm going to talk about how to serve your homebrew beer. Now, there's not really a whole lot to talk about this, but there's really only a couple of things that I want to point out. And the first thing is, unlike commercial beers, homebrews, most of them are not filtered, which means that whenever you bottle a beer, your yeast is going to um, go through a secondary fermentation. And the yeast, once it's done fermenting, it's going to basically drop out of suspension and come down to the bottom of the beer and you're to the bottom of the bottle and you're going to see that uh, most of your beer bottles are going to have some yeast sediment. Now most of the beers that you're going to be drinking are not going to be the type of beers where you want any of that yeast to end up in your glass. So that's the first thing I, I need to uh, point out here. Um, there are some beer styles like Hefeweizens, for example, that actually benefit from having some of that yeast served into the glass. So figure out whether or not the style that you're drinking uh, benefits from having yeast served into the glass, but more than likely it's going to be better without the uh, yeast um, so that the beer is clear and there's no floaties or anything going around. Um, other than that, I know uh, most most bars or stuff where you where you go and serve your beer, you normally tilt your glass over to prevent any of the foam from forming up. When it comes to craft beer, you actually want to get a little bit of that foam to form up. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. So the first thing is, you go ahead and open up the beer, and you want to pour the beer with the glass tilted right about. Uh, I'll say about a quarter to half and then you're gonna just pour it down hard and towards the end you're gonna watch out and make sure that you don't have any yeast coming down um, you may even want to keep a little bit of your beer in the bottle but essentially what you want is to have about one to two fingers worth of foam form up into your beer and this is a blonde ale so I don't want any yeast to go into the beer if I were to be serving myself a Hefeweizen, um, a Hefeweizen is usually served cold and the yeast sediment usually gets packed in when the beer is really cold and I don't want to warm up the beer just to get the sediment out. So normally what I would do with that is I will leave a little bit of beer, maybe about a finger or two fingers worth of beer in, in the bottle and then I will just place a bottle in my hand just like that and just hold, hold the bottle for, for a few, I don't know, maybe a minute or two is about enough to uh, warm up the bottom of the beer. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna loosen up some of that yeast. And once that yeast loosens up, what you wanna do is just swirl the bottle to mix whatever yeast is at the bottom with the beer, whatever's left over. And once you see that the yeast has loosened up from the bottom and that you can actually uh, mix in the yeast with the beer, then you would just go ahead and pour the yeast into the beer. But again, that's only for certain styles of beer. So other than that, um, there's really not a whole, whole lot more to talk about when it comes to serving beer, other than there are some beers that go better in some glasses. And that's a whole other topic for another day. We'll see you on the next video. Like, just like, you're just, just randomly like, combine caramel, malt, hops, mm -hmm. and you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, that's that. We'll see. We're missing two.